Hello friends, welcome into my Freckle Love page. If you've never joined me before, I am Martha Barnett. I'm a presenter with Unique, so I'm gonna be showing Unique products today, but I especially wanna be talking about beauty tools. Um, this coming week on my blog, I'm gonna be talking about beauty tools as well as in my Facebook group. So if you're not part of my Facebook group, be sure and shoot me a message so I can invite you to join us because we talk all kinds of things, fashion, style, and beauty over on that page. All right, let's get started. I've already put on toner and moisturizer, so let's do foundation. I'm gonna use liquid foundation with one of my all-time favorite tools, the Kabuki brush. I talked about my top five favorite beauty tools on the blog this week, and I will kind of go through those as we're talking. One of them was this Kabuki brush because I think it is, sorry as I'm off screen there as I'm reaching, I think that it is one of the best brushes I have ever used. Sorry, I forgot primer. Let me dot on a little primer here real quick. The hydrating base primer, because oh my, my skin is dry, do I ever need that extra? moisture right now. All right, now let me get back to foundation. This Kabuki brush has been a real game changer for me. I never knew, no one ever told me or taught me how to put on foundation. Nobody ever taught me about makeup, period. And honestly, I read all the women's magazines and learned a few tips along the way on those, but it wasn't until be I became a presenter with Unique, just because I fell in love with the products, and decided, hey, I would at least make it, I would at least sell enough to keep my discount and stay active with the company so I could save on my own makeup because I love the products. Well, it wasn't until I did that, till I became a presenter that I thought, well, if I'm gonna be putting this makeup on in front of people, I probably should learn how to do it. So I started learning all I could about makeup and skincare and cosmetics. And that was when I found out that foundation is best applied with a brush. I know a lot of people like to use their fingers. A lot of people like to use the little blending buds. And I have one and I do use it occasionally more for concealer than anything else. But to get the best flawless finish, you really do need a Kabuki brush. It's nice because it's big and flat on the end. And that's gonna give you your best finish. You can buff it in and really smooth it out so that you can't tell you're wearing makeup. Okay, hang on as I close the door. You can hear my Roomba. Ah, sorry about that. I turned it on to start while I was in the other room. All right, next up, blush. And this is one of my favorite colors, it's Surreal. My other favorite is Seductive. Seductive and Surreal are my two favorites. And again, talking beauty tools, notice I'm using this nice, big, fluffy blush brush. Don't try to say that fast. Again, the bigger brushes do really well on spreading product out and getting it blend it in really nice on your face so that you don't have any telltale lines of where, you know, product starts and stops. I'm gonna apply a little bit of highlighter here and now I'm gonna go back to that Kabuki brush and use that to blend this in. There we go. All right, next up, a brush I did not talk about this week in my articles on the blog, but still a favorite is this double-ended brush. It is straight on the one end and it's got a beveled edge on the other end. I love to use this around my eyes because that beveled edge really lets you get in there close. I'm gonna use this color of eyeshadow as my brow color. Believe it or not, I have found that this is the best match. And using this brush, this is the easiest way to put it on. Now, I always have people ask if it comes off. And I've never had an issue with that. I've never had it flake off. 
But if you wanted to have some extra security, you could always spritz a little bit of setting spray on your brush before you apply it, before you apply the shadow, and that would give it a little more um, staying power. But I have never had an issue with it. So I'm just gonna color in my brows. They, the shape of them actually is pretty good. My stylist, um, kind of corrals them and whips them into shape for me once a month when I get my hair done. She does my brows for me too. And they generally have a pretty good shape. It's just that some of my brow hairs are white and gray, just like the rest of my head. So I do have to um, go in there and kind of fill those in a little bit. All right, I'm gonna use the other end of this brush and I'm gonna go into this super dark, it's actually a dark purple plum. Um, it's my favorite color to wear as eyeliner underneath. So I'm going to just put a little bit of that underneath my eye. You really can't even tell when I get it on there that it's purple. It almost looks black or gray. But it honestly is a super dark purple color. There we go. All right, now on to uh, a little bit of eye primer before I talk about the next tool. By the way, I did my hair today um, with one of the tools that I talked about. It's the La Duo, and it's by Lange. Um, it's a straightening iron, curling iron all in one. If you've never seen it, Google that. La Duo, L-E-D-U-O, meaning like the two. And it is a, a straightening iron that clamps, just like a regular flattening iron, straightening iron, but the edges of it are rounded, more like a curling iron. And so what you do is you put your hair in, you clamp it, you twist, and then you pull your hair through, and that's when you get that curl. And so I curled my hair just a little bit. I had it straightened on Wednesday when I got it colored. And then during the night when I sleep, a lot of times my ends will come out very curly. And so um, sometimes I use the, the Laduo and I straighten it all out. But this time I just went ahead and curled it a little bit just to give it a, a little bit of bounce. And I just decided to go with it that way. So that's one of the tools that I talk about, as well as the Dyson hair dryer. I have the Supersonic. I know it is a huge splurge. I actually got mine as a gift. Um, it is very expensive, but it is also very worth it. Um, I think it's gonna last forever. Um, and it makes my drying time go from about an hour down to about 20 minutes. Um, so it is incredible as far as the speed and the power. So you can't beat that. Um, for somebody like me who has super coarse, super thick, super naturally curly hair, um, it takes me at least an hour to dry my hair. If I section it off and dry it thoroughly, it would take me a good hour. Um, air drying it, it can take all day to air dry. I can wash it in the morning and still by mid-afternoon, if you feel to my roots, they're still wet. So that Dyson hair dryer is wow. All right, so that's another tool I talk about, but let's go ahead. I'm gonna use some Giggly liquid eyeshadow as my transition color today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this all over my lid. And then I'm going to go and grab another one of the tools that I did talk about on the blog, and that is my big fluffy brush, the blending brush. This one's another favorite of mine. If I could only have two brushes total from Unique, I would get the Kabuki brush and this blending brush. Sorry, the dog wants out. He'll have to wait a minute. These two brushes I cannot do without. I think a close third would be that double-ended brush that I use on my brows, but these two for sure. All right, then I'm going to grab a flat brush, another really nice tool to have. Flat brushes are really good for a lot of things. I'm gonna use um, this color that's in the new, this is the, um, sorry, this one over here, that's in the new Beloved 3 palette. 
Let's see what the name of this one is. The names of these are just so fun. This one is called Inexpressible. So since I'm wearing this color, kind of a mustard color sweater, I'm gonna use this color right in the middle of my eye. It's a very gold kind of a, oh, I don't know what color I would call that, gold, but more like a brass gold. I guess you would call it. Now, I know that looks kind of crazy because I put giggly pink as my transition color, and now I've used this um, brassy gold color in the middle of my lids, but what I'm gonna do now is go back and take my fluffy crease brush, mm -hmm, which is right here. It's just a little bit smaller than my fluffy brush. I could probably use my fluffy brush for this too if I could only get by with one brush. I'm gonna go back and use that same um, color that I used on my brows, and I'm gonna use that color, and I'm gonna go back and put that right here at the corner of my eye. I'm gonna do just a little bit of a smoky eye look there. Not too dramatic. further on my eyelid in the crease there. I think I have one side darker than the other. That usually happens, kind of drives me crazy. Okay, and then of course I'm gonna go back to that big fluffy brush again, and I'm gonna use that to blend, 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 blend. Super, super blending here. So I've talked about most of the tools that you're gonna see on the blog this week. I talked about the Dyson, I talked about the Leduo, I talked about the Kabuki brush and this big fluffy brush, the blending brush that I'm using right now. Blend that all out really good, there we go. The other tool that I talk about on um, the blog is my facial brush and it's by Fancy Brand um, and it is called the Cora 7. And that's because it comes with seven different attachments. I'm gonna use a really nice, big, loose, fluffy brush to put on some translucent setting powder. There we go. And the different attachments allow you to deep clean, to exfoliate, um, there's even a pumice attachment so you can do calluses on your heels, on your hands. Um, there's uh, an extension handle so you can actually scrub your back. Um, and it comes with a nice carrying case, which is really handy for travel or just for storage. Also one of the attachments is kind of like a little massaging attachment. You know, a lot of women have been using those jade rollers on their face to massage, to, um, stimulate their skin to get rid of wrinkles. That's the same kind of idea with these little massaging, they're um, like little beads, but they kind of move up and down. It's really kind of cool. Feels good. So it's got that attachment on there too. I just feel like when I use that, um, I always take my makeup off with one of our cleansing cloths, which is kind of like a diaper wipe or a, a Clorox wipe or something. It's one of those little wet wipes. We have one that is a skin brand. It has aloe in it. And it's specially made for skin, for facial skin. So I will use that to take my makeup off first. Then I'll go back and I'll use the Cora all over my face. And I will find that even after I've used the cleansing cloth over my entire face, and a lot of times I'll even use some of our cleansing balm or one of the oils or the stick that we used to carry, and I'll use that to clean my face as well. But then when I use the Cora, I find that on the bristles, I can still see gunk and makeup and dirt and grime that I didn't get, that I end up grabbing with the Cora because it does a deeper clean. And I just use the regular cleanser by Unique. I just put 
two squirts of that on the brush of the Cora. It is battery operated. All right, and there we go. I'm putting on the mascara now as I'm talking to you about these other tools. I use the Twisted Epic on my lower lashes because I love that tiny little brush. And then I put on lash primer and now I am putting on the 4D mascara on the top. And of course I'm gonna go back and do a second coat. I would really like to have, there it is, my magnifying glass. Magnifying, magnifying mirror. All right, there we go, second coat. All right, and now even though I'm gonna end up wearing a mask later, I'm gonna grab one of my new matte lipsticks. The perfect shade for this one will be moneyed. If I can just find it, there we go. This is um, one of the new matte lipsticks. They are not drying at all. Um, they're nice and soft on your lips. They don't, <clears throat> they don't dry out um, and make your lips look cracked or anything later. Some of the matte lipsticks tend to do that. You look you know, at your lips in the mirror hours later and all the color has gathered in like one spot. You don't have that trouble with this matte lipstick. And check this out, it's magnetic. I think that's kind of cool. So you don't have to worry about the lid coming off in your purse or anything. All right, my friends, so there we go. Just a little bit of setting spray to keep everything in place and I am ready to rock and roll. So thanks for joining me today. As usual, if you have any questions about any of the tools that I talked about today, be sure and um, pop me a message or put it in the comments down below and I'll be glad to get back to you and give you some help because that's what I'm here for. I am here to make every woman feel and look more beautiful one face at a time. Thanks for joining me. See you later. Bye-bye.